So this week, you know, we're going to create cardinal drawings. We're actually going to draw our cardinal a little different this time by using circles and ovals to form his body shape. So the supplies you're going to need is, of course, a piece of paper. And I highly recommend and suggest starting with a pencil first and make sure you have an eraser because we're actually going to erase some things that we're going to draw. Then I am going to use color pencils and watercolors to color in my cardinal and background. You can use whatever supplies you want to, it's your choice. So let's begin. Now I'm going to start with his head shape and we're gonna create a circle. And I wanna fill up my cardinal in most of my space on my paper. So I'm gonna draw a circle for his head. Now it's okay, you can go around a couple times and draw a circle. I'm going to go around my circle so you can see So there's my circle. I want you guys to try your best to do your circle lightly and also your oval. So next I'm going to draw an oval. So I'm going to go kind of a little bit off center here. I'm not going to go right on the right and not down below, but kind of in the middle here. I'm going to draw an oval. And I'm going to go around a couple times just to kind of get that shape. So let's start at the top of our bird's head and cardinals kind of have mohawk hair. So we're gonna draw a triangle shape. So you're gonna kind of go to the end and you're gonna go up with a line. Your triangle and then add your spiky hairdo to help follow that form and line. So let's add his belly. We're gonna go underneath we're going to follow our circle line and then we're going to create kind of a curved line. We're going to connect it to our oval. And we're going to stop at the bottom. We're not going to keep going around because we have to leave room for his tail. Let's add his beak while we're here. Now cardinals have small beaks. They don't have thin beaks. They kind of have small triangle beaks. And remember you can pause this video and rewind to catch up at any time. There's his beak. Let's give him a circle for his eye. You can add a little circle inside too. Now let's add the black around his eye. So you kind of Start above your beak, go up around your eye and come back down and make sure it curves right below his beak. So that's that black part, kind of like his mask that cardinals have on their face. So let's go behind his head here. We're gonna start at the curve on the right. We're gonna go down. Follow his back shape here. And we're going to end a little bit right there. So next we're going to go in the center of his body. We're going to draw his wing. And then we're going to connect it to this bottom here. So we want to kind of like that shape we did for the oval of how we started. We want a curved shape. And we want to come down and meet that other line. It's okay if they don't meet. You can always draw them together. Now we're almost done. We just have his tail and his legs to add. So for his tail, I am then going to draw a line coming underneath his wing for his tail feather. And then I'm going to draw another line going down. And I'm going to connect him with some feathery lines, or curved lines. So to create his feet, you're going to draw a number 11, kind of like towards his body there. And then you're going to draw a curve line, going back. And then the other side, draw a curve line. And then you're going to connect the two. You can draw another toenail here if you need to. Give him three toes. And then we're going to add another little one in the back. So I'm going to draw a branch or a stick. You can have 
your cardinal standing on something. Maybe it's a fence post, maybe it's a rock. So then I'm also going to create a border around my cardinal, kind of like a picture frame, just for something different. All right, so the next step I'm gonna do is before I color them, I'm actually gonna erase some lines in my drawing. I'm gonna erase the top of that circle here, below is mohawk hair, and I'm gonna erase my bottom of my circle, and a little bit of his oval by his tail and into his wing. And if you need to go back and fill in some of your spaces that you accidentally delete it that's or erase that's okay just connect your lines back again so there's my cardinal the colors I'm going to use for color pencils is of course red um, browns and some oranges mm -hmm. 